I want to start this video by letting you guys know that everything in here is basically my own thoughts and my own experiences and what how I've been dealing with certain things that's been happening this year and just to let you know that this video isn't to manipulate or guilt trip or to make you feel sorry for me or anything like that it's nothing like that whatsoever it's just me telling you what's been happening because I feel that this video is to update and to tell you guys what's been happening hey everybody my name is Jose you guys know me as reloading 64 but I'm pretty much gonna start introducing myself as Jose from now on I might even change my channel name for the first thing uh, I'm going to be going to Japan in the end of this year and I've been wondering uh, if you guys want me to take video of everything and make it into a video series uh, because I am uh, I'll be going there and I want to enjoy myself but at the same time I will be taking pictures taking video and I'm just wondering if I should just keep that in mind as well that well I can make a video series about this maybe to show people where I went or if someone else wants to go where I went they can see my video and see like oh I I definitely want to go there or, oh well now I don't really feel like that's for me yeah I'm gonna be leaving at the end of this month and it's pretty much been taking a lot of my time to just doing last minute planning things that I need such as the last two things that I really need is to buy a traveler's backpack because I don't plan on dragging stuff uh, in luggage with me and I also need to finish booking the places that I'm gonna stay such and I'm gonna be staying in hostels uh, but yes for two weeks I'm going to be backpacking through Japan which not really backpacking but you know what I mean, yeah, I have pretty much my railway pass, my tickets are ready. I just need those two little things and obviously pack once it's there. So just let me know what you guys think about that, of making a video series about Japan. Another thing I want to talk about is just the channel in general, because uh, I don't know if you guys have seen them now or they're going to be coming up. I think they're coming up, but there have been videos where I've been cutting them down to 10 minutes. And I really enjoy doing that because I cut out all the fat from the videos and not they're making them more entertaining and just trying to have the funny bits but at the same time still having a uh, 10 minute video uh, obviously the reason I do 10 minute videos is because obviously for ad reasons things like that but sometimes I might actually go below that line cuz I really don't care <laughs> mainly uh, because I, I pretty much accepted that I'm not going to make a career out of YouTube and I don't, really don't plan on just relying on YouTube in general because of how, as you guys have seen, how unreliable and how unstable it is because of certain things here and there. And I do actually plan making a couple of videos about uh, other things like, I guess, reviews or rants, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't know, but you guys will see those coming up. I've actually been doing a lot of thinking about those, and I'm just thinking, well, if I'm not, if I'm pretty much not going to make anything out of this channel, I might as well just do what I want. And by that, I mean I've been watching a lot of uh, Filthy Frank <laughs> recently. If you guys don't know Filthy Frank, uh, I would say check out his videos, but not if you're overly sensitive <laughs> but yeah um i just see that play on his videos on youtube especially they are just being demonetized demonetized because of how i guess offensive you can say and especially with how youtube is just making everything so difficult for edgy type channels um anyone who tries to do that kind of content is basically going doing an uphill battle against youtube or, or basically making nothing they're pretty much throwing out their option of getting paid to make videos and a lot of people aren't gonna want to do that because everyone everyone kind of now sees what YouTube can get you if you're big enough obviously you know with let's players there's PewDiePie Vanus Vanos gaming uh, Markiplier Jacksepticeye you know these bigger youtubers are obviously they made quite a lot of money on YouTube and even with the ad apocalypse I'm pretty sure they also took a hit but not to the extent as smaller youtubers obviously as as you can see some of these 
YouTubers decide to go merchandising, live streaming, uh, live shows, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you kind of see that they don't want to go through the uh, fact that, well, YouTube is unstable and I'm not just gonna... And it would be foolish if I stayed here only and this didn't broaden my horizons. So you can't fault them for that. The, the, there's a whole bunch of other stuff about that that I can talk about, but this isn't really the video for it. For me, it's one of those things where, well, you know what? I don't have these chains that a lot of these smaller YouTubers do or that YouTubers trying to go up. Uh, that they're trying to play it safe, being ad-friendly, things like that. As for me, it's like, I don't care. I don't really give a damn because if that means me censoring myself then screw that I don't want to follow by I don't want to follow YouTube's guidelines if it means oh we'll pay you if you decide to be very friendly I'm gonna be more myself and I'm just gonna say things that I think are funny regardless if YouTube thinks they're not advertiser friendly and the last thing I pretty much want to talk about is basically the unknown developer series because everybody uh, cause you guys don't care about me at all, all you guys care about is that series. I'm just joking with you, I'm joshing with you, take the joke. One of the main reasons why I haven't made another video is because, as I've told you, I've been planning for my trip, and I've been very busy just getting everything ready for that, as well as other things in my life, and also kind of being demotivated to make it. Um, and the reason why I've been demotivated, I'll tell you in a bit, uh, but I want to just get this final thought across from this. One of the reasons I haven't made it is because I don't want to make a crap video. Uh, I think it's the last one or the second last one. Or probably the last two Unknown Developers videos that I just really don't like how they came out. I really hate those last two videos because I rushed them. I People were saying... People were basically demanding that I make them to give them more information, and that's fine. That's cool that you guys are into it as much as I am. But because I buckled under that pressure and decided, oh, well, they want it now, so I have to make it for them. Um, I made two videos that honestly, to me, to my standards, I think were pretty crappy. And I didn't want that to happen. So... Which is why I haven't made an un another Unknown Developer video, mainly because I know if I try to make it right now, I won't have the time to completely finish it, and it's just going to be sitting there for like probably weeks or maybe months, and then when I come back, I'm just going to be completely disconnected from it because it's not fresh in my mind anymore. I'm going to have to try to look at the video and see what the train of thought I was in during making the first half or things like that. And I didn't want that to happen. And I don't want to make a crappy video. Because I feel like that series deserves more than that. Because I really enjoyed it. And there's just so much information in there. And I'm going to make it the way I want to make it. And make it entertaining and informative. And, and this isn't to say like, screw you or anything. It's just, but if people don't like it the way I, I make it, then that's fine. You have your own opinion, but I'm going to still make it the way I want to make it. And I'm going to make it to a point where I'm proud of it. And I'm happy to look back at that video and be like, yeah, it took me a couple months to make, but damn, I really like it. The whole thing now about this is this whole year has been pretty shitty with me. The bet I would say that the highlight of this year would probably be getting noticed by you wonderful people the reason i make these videos is not for people it's for myself i enjoy it i enjoy making them and i want to continue making them because they make me happy and if people enjoy them and they find happiness in them and they find them entertaining that's fine um not to say that i don't care about you guys it's just um i've been through a lot that i'm trying to make myself happy and not miserable <laughs> in other words because my, my my entire life has basically been like I have to earn everything I have to work for everything and I've never I pretty much almost rarely have breaks in it because obviously I've said it before life doesn't care who you are it's gonna 
keep hitting you until you're even when you're down and that's pretty much what's been happening in me this whole year um, I was having financial issues uh, I was in a relationship for four and a half years that ended which was very devastating to me throughout that whole time I was just trying uh, to just keep that in and not not let it show through my videos which I'm pretty sure I did a good job hiding it but at the same time I could see how I, I was just so concentrated on not showing it that it, I look stiff and my videos don't come out naturally at least for me that's what I feel um, on top of that just recently like October 16th or 17th uh, one of my dogs that I've had for nine years has uh, died uh, they found that he had cancer and by the time they discovered it, it already spread through his bloodstream and there was nothing we could do, so we had to put him to sleep. Um, mainly just so he wouldn't suffer. But yeah, and just throughout all that, because of just how life keeps hitting and hitting and hitting, it, it's just, I feel like depression is just grabbing me, like just hovering over me because I feel it. And anyone who's had depression knows that it's not something that completely goes away. It's kind of like a virus, like a cold. Like, once you get it, that's pretty much it. You're going to get it again and again and again, depending on uh, the circumstances, I guess you could say. It's uh, Once I've had it, it's always just been there behind me. And I'm going to show a picture, if I can find it, that pretty much shows what it feels like when depression hits you when you're trying to stay above water with just weights on your legs and as I said in the beginning of this video this isn't to make anyone feel guilty this isn't any to make anyone feel sorry for me and to say oh poor you blah 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 I've always been the kind of person to just lift my, myself up and just keep going but as I said uh, just the things I've just been trying to stay above water and Sometimes, obviously, that's difficult to do. I think Boogie uh, is the guy who wrote. I'll put that as well up here as well. Um, how he talks about what depression is, and it's pretty much spot on. It's gotten to the point where I've even thought about canceling my trip to Japan because I felt like I don't, I shouldn't go. I don't deserve it. Maybe some other time, just things like that. Not deciding not to go because, oh, it's going to cost me money and I'm I'm okay with money right now, but this could really put a dent in me because then I'm going to have to be playing catch up uh, when I come back. And it's just, it takes a lot for me to just tell myself to shut up and just go. I tell myself, no, you need this. You've been, you've gone through a lot this year. It's time, let's just end it on a high note. I'm just constantly saying like, no, no, we shouldn't go. We should just stay here and try to uh, get out of this situation, get out of this. And it's like, we've been in this situation for years. Well, and by we, I mean myself, because I start talking to myself. It doesn't make me crazy. But I start thinking, like, I've been on this situa in this situation for years. Like, it never gets better. Like, seriously, why, why are you thinking that oh like yeah you're gonna work on this and blah 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 but yeah it's never it will never get better like at least not for me for that's the way I think at least um, because honestly for me the best time of my life was when I had when I was with my girlfriend for the four and a half years where I found a reason that I'm not living for myself I'm living for her now like I'm living to make her happy and it was like I said it was pretty devastating for me t for that relationship to end and I understand why it did. It's just me going through all this stuff. And I just want to let you guys know why things have been happening. I know you love this series, but there's a person behind that video as well who makes it and puts thought into it to make sure that you enjoy it. And, and like I said, I'm not trying to feel any, make anyone feel guilty. <laughs> because if anything, you guys are the reason why... I put so much effort into it in the first place because I like I said I like I enjoy it and I put it to my standards but I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't like it if I didn't do that if I just made a half-assed video about it I'm pretty sure you guys would not like it whatsoever because 
I didn't wasn't thorough enough or because I decided well this is how it's fine it's fine this way it's fine mediocre I've pretty much been putting off a lot of things in life because of this um, just things uh, like working on my game I've just been so demotivated about everything I've been so just really tired every day and just waking up and thinking like I just don't want to do it anymore and I have to get into that train of thought of like you have to wake up you have to go to work you have to go to the gym you have to keep busy so your mind doesn't go into that place again and that's what I try to do and it's just really hard for me to keep stay in that train of thought mainly because of just how everything has been happening I that's pretty much it I just want to let you guys know what's been happening and just giving you an insight of what's going on in here. Um, but yeah, hopefully this answers some of you guys' question about the Unknown Developer Series and just as I've said before, I, I have been keeping on top of it. Just please be patient with me. Um, most likely, I might be doing it after I come back from my vacation, which would be af around late December. <laughs> um, because I was thinking of doing it before I leave, but we're already, as of right now, I'm recording this on the 8th of November. Um, and I don't think that I'll have enough time to actually make a full video about everything. And if, if anything, I think I might make the video shorter. Because I, I enjoyed the hour one and you guys seem to enjoy it as well, but I need, I'm going to space it out that way. Maybe it doesn't. My that way it's not one video every month a couple of months but yeah just let me know what you guys think about the whole video series idea for my Japan trip my Japan vacation and I guess just whatever you guys think about me and telling you about this so yeah thank you everybody so much for watching this I hope you guys understand and just have a good day I'll see you guys in the next video